Hello, and I forgot how to unmute things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like, what buttons am I pushing? Sweet. Not in stream. Okay. Fantastic. Welcome to Fate of Ukador, where everything's random. Uh, here on the Fable 42, where we build community through friendship, gaming, and of course, chaos. We've started. We've already started the chaos. Um, we live in the chaos. Yeah, chaos. 14. They, it's only been 14 episodes. That's wild to me. Guys, I, I mean, somehow typed howdy backwards in the chat. Yeah, it like, does that every once in a while. Accidentally. There's like a key option. Is that was Okay. If you do it and it starts writing backwards. Yib whoa. That's weird. <laughs> Yib whoa. I've never seen that Yib before. Whoa. Sorry. Sorry. Totally focused. Uh, Let's go. As you can tell, we are missing a few people. Mm -hmm. Nope. There. And then. Right. Down. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Am I pointing? Oh, oh, oh. hands are hard. Uh, we're missing Nasea and Flint, but they shall return one of these days. <clears throat> Post haste. In in the meantime, you have us. <laughs> and aren't we enough? Yeah. And Elam Dare. Elam Dare is here too. Yep. Elam Dare. Not forget. And we Let's won't forget, forget him. Down there. We should not forget. Yeah, all the way down. All the way down. Um, but before we get into <laughs> us, we will talk about some sponsors. Um, and before we talk about sponsors, we're going to talk about <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> YouTube is a thing. And if you like to watch all these episodes, because you might miss us, you might miss us. Huh? Is anyone on there? I or know. you just want to watch us again. Mm, I feel like this is saying. Anyways, you can go if you to... Miss us, if you miss us, if you miss us, and if you miss us. It's perfect for yeah. every situation. Exactly. What's the second, third miss? I don't know. I feel like... Anyways. Uh, YouTube is a thing. So go to Fable42 right now. Well, not right now. I mean, whenever. And look up all the past episodes, all 13 of them. Um, on Well, 13 plus two prequel ones. So, like, it's bonus. And you will get to see our lovely faces on most of them, mine on all of them, if you consider this lovely of things. If you view this as acceptable, good. We're starting out strong. <laughs> strong, I'm, confident. I'm very confident in my look. Nice. <laughs> well, if that's that like? the case, uh, since Kate's not here, um, yeah. Colin, would you like I'm going to do it. Uh, thank you, sir. Special thanks to our first sponsor, Critical Dice. Good friend of ours. Yeah, yeah, he's around. Uh, go ahead and enter exclamation point critical in the Twitch chat to enter in the first giveaway of the night. But guess what? There's another one, because after break, we're going to do it all again. Uh, so exclamation point critical. And please note our giveaways are for the U.S. and Canada only, excluding Quebec, because, hey, Quebec be frontin'. Um, help support yes. the channel by clicking the link below for 20% off non-subscription items. I need to meet somebody from Quebec just so I know what their life's like. Like, mm -hmm. are they like always you sad? You yeah, can't be just on always Twitch down. getting giveaways because we're going to know just, just Quebec. Fortune though, doesn't favor us. Out of all of Canada, just Quebec. Anyways, mm -hmm. sorry, Quebec. Jacob. So our next sponsor is... Da, 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 da. Nine Realms Gaming. Uh, they make all their products out of natural wood. They hand make all their products <laughs> out of natural wood. What did you freeze? Wood. What happened? No, what? <laughs> I'll be honest. I was like, I wanted to say hand make, and I was like, wait, is that in the read? And so I had to look. <laughs> they hand make all their products with natural woods and create quality, affordable gaming accessories for all. These are actually pretty affordable um, by my standards, and I'm a broke boy. <laughs> Um, but, uh, you should absolutely check them out and believe it or not, there is a code you can use. So if you use code fabled 42, you can get 10% off your next purchase over at nine realms gaming.com. Again, that is nine realms gaming.com. Volley it back. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Back to me guys. 3D printed things that you may see on this show, but haven't yet. 
But uh, they're from Griffin Co. Griffin Co. Griffin Co. Um, there it is. Yeah. And there's a code for them as well, Fable42, where you can get 22% off of your purchase. I saw just on Instagrams this week that they have a dwarf set. It's like an entire set of really cool looking dwarves. So I might buy that one soon. Biased. <laughs> I mean, it's a sponsor. I hope he's biased. No, I meant for the dwarves. Oh, no, that makes, okay, that makes way more sense. I see where you're coming from. Dwarves are like, they're comical, you know? Like, it's not just, like, half orcs. They don't just look strong and menacing. Like, some I'll be honest with you, like, I don't I think look at the barrel. The barrel dwarf, I think, is one of theirs. Where it's like, he's in a beer barrel, his armor, and he's got axes. I've never <laughs> looked at, I've never looked at Brolin and been like, he's comical. I've never once done that. <laughs> I've been like, he's a man that likes to think. I mean, but what? But you know, com- he could use comedy to deflect certain things. Well, um, he hasn't done that with me. Yeah, and because, yeah. My and entire that's my life fault. is using that's comedy to fault. deflect. And that's <laughs> my fault. <laughs> Relationship is a two-way street, Colin. Yeah, <laughs> you like. I feel like there's been like some backed up parked cars on that two way street. Ooh, Maybe. like when people park and like take up half the street. Yes. But they're just like trying to say that, oh, we're actually parking, but it's not enough room for them. Yeah. Yeah. So then like when you're driving up and somebody else is driving up, somebody's got Someone to stop to make and let the choice. other person. Yeah. 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 No, I have one of those in my neighborhood and it's just like I'm always the person that's just like, I'll stop. You go ahead and come through. No, you gotta put your foot down. Sometimes I do, and it gets scary because the other person doesn't stop. They'll stop. They keep going. It gets close. <laughs> I'm, just like, I'm just like, I can't play this game. I can't live my life playing this game. It's different where I live. I live in small town California, and it's like, no, people will sit there and wave people through a stop sign for a good 30 seconds. I'm just like, as soon as someone waves, I'm like, cool, got it, going. See, I, I live in small town Indiana where – people are either super chill or super aggressive and they have no reason to be aggressive (laughs) no they don't i have to turn a switch off as soon as i get off the freeway anyways Ah, i was gonna see all right our last sponsor for the night is underground oracle and i'm gonna talk to you about a cool new uh package of spells uh that underground oracle has released uh called fool's fancy spells for tricksters and mischief makers so I'll give, you the, I'll give you the little rundown. Across the continent and throughout the realms, there are a variety of influential and powerful beings devoted to the domains of whimsy, trickery, and mischief. From deities who spend countless eons pranking their fellow gods to otherworldly patron, patrons injecting their own brand of monkey shines, monkey shines into the lives of hapless mortals. These powerful entities, entities have inspired a plethora of festivals and holidays created to celebrate or ward away their particular sense of humor. But whether through direct intervention or simply acting as muses to the magically inclined, the most powerful impact that these eternal jokesters have had by far is on the spell books of fun-loving casters. So you get a can't you can if you if you get this, it's like $199. Um, if you get this, you get the cantrip fetch. It's a cantrip. You get the first level spell summon heckler, which sounds amazing. It does. You get a second level spell called Fireflies. You get a third level spell called Bumberdeer Blast. And a fourth level spell, ah, smack my microphone, and a fourth level spell called Gut Busting Smite, which is basically if you want to hit a guy and you want his friends to laugh at him, you use Gut Busting Smite. That's, that's basically how that works. Uh, but you should you should definitely go check them out. Uh, you should check them out on their Ko-Fi. You should check them out on Patreon. You should check them out on Drive Through RPG. You should check out their products. They're pretty affordable. They're really cool uh, resources for DMs and players both. Um, and it's just fun. It's fun stuff. They got different. They have different archetypes. They have magical items. They have all sorts of stuff that you can use for your games. For your you, you and. You and your guys are running out of steam. You and your friends. You and yours. You can say you and yours. That's one of my favorite phrases. You and yours. All right. <laughs> oh, oh she did stop by. 
Maybe it's that. Back to me. Hey, they're both there. Sup, nerds. <laughs> Sup, nerds. Uh, also, there are. I don't know if I can say it, but there's a bunch of shows coming to the Fable 42, and it's exciting. Uh, if you haven't already, please join the Discord. Um, in the months to come, there will be a lot more things uh, happening Soon. throughout. I would the say, week. I would say there's be, there's going to be some more information relatively soon mm -hmm. maybe like a teaser picture i don't know maybe i don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yes join the discord follow us on instagram follow us on youtube I spoke about that um follow us on all the things and you'll be privy to all the cool things up ahead for favorite 42 uh but without further ado we are going to run the trailer we're going to come back, do a little recap, and we're going to get things started. So uh, stick around. Also forgot to say <laughs> that if you are a subscriber either through Amazon Prime, which you have to re-up it once a month, um, through Twitch or through Patreon, you have what's available called luck and inspiration. You can give those out to the players or me. Uh, but I recommend giving it out to the players because they're going to need it. And they don't have infinite luck and inspo like Dungeon Masters do. Not that we use it. Um, <laughs> but luck and inspo to Brolin. Oh, this is this is, this is going to be the trend, isn't it? Oh, luck and inspo to Cinder. Okay. Yay! Okay. Yay! We're going to... This is gonna be a good game night. sister, good night. yay! Oh my also, goodness. I'm gonna give my luck and inspo to Brolin. Okay. Oh boy, and I already gave mine to Cinder. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, earlier. Okay. Way earlier. We I'm, support each other out here. I'm just wow. Rolling a bunch of dumb shit. So. Yeah. We yeah. No. <laughs> we're and we're gonna use it on. Yes, y'all are gonna use it on stuff. the worst. <laughs> thing. Oh, I will. I will. hundred yeah. percent. When did you? Well, Cinder used his last one on something stupid, like before y'all even had anything, and then like he didn't have it for, I don't know, an important. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. But no. Anyways, luck and inspo to me. Ah, thank you, Frisky. You're so wait. Nice. That's two people that gave luck and inspo to you. Wait, who else did? Oh, Nordic. Nordic. <gasps> yes. Okay, I can read. But <laughs> now that we're all tied up with luck and inspo, <laughs> mm. um, everybody's got two. Do we? 
Maybe. In the last episode, uh, all the party members got to meet Nasea's ex bard guy, and it was kind of a unanimous consensus that most of them just didn't like him, like his face or the way he acted or talked or spoke or carried himself or, you know, any of anything. Uh, and on their lunch break, um, as uh, he was teaching Sindar how to skip rocks. He wasn't teaching. I already knew how to do it. You beat up a kid at recess at lunch break. <laughs> That was teaching me. You beat up a teacher. At he lunch wasn't break. teaching me. <laughs> well, their small competition ended in a fist fight, mostly on Zendaya's side, as he proceeded to punch him rapidly. And um, to make matters worse, Zendaya used his newfound corruption magic to bind the the bard guy from being able to do anything, even though I don't know if I was going to actually make him do anything. I was just seeing how quick it was to push your buttons, and I already filed that away in my list of future yeah. enemies that you actually should probably, you know. Anyways, um, after all that... short temper. <laughs> if you hit me, you're wrong. He didn't even hit him! He no, didn't wait. even hit him! <laughs> By you hitting me, you're wrong. <laughs> so, uh... Nadir, I think that's his name, mm -hmm. yes. um, gave away his cart to the party members um, so that they can return it to Dorne where it needs to go. Um, and reluctantly, the others, for the most part, uh, made their way back to Dorne at the end of the night and found their way at the manor, or not the manor, the uh, tavern. And they got some rooms. Most of them went to bed. Sindare met a paladin who works for Nasea. Brolin stayed up all night. Sindare got a vision that wasn't good. Correct. And then that's where we're going to start things. So you just come out of this vision, Sindare. You just see a bunch of things that technically haven't happened, but possibly could happen. Okay. All right. I should... Okay, I should... I should get up. 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 Okay. And I get out of bed very quickly, put all my things on, and I, and I like, go over to Nasea's door, and I knock on the door. Okay. Make a perception check. The thing I'm good at. Thirteen. Nice. If you could hear someone sleeping loudly, that's what you would hear on the other side of the store. Right. She was drinking last night. Probably, probably shouldn't bother. <laughs> uh, I don't know where Flint's room is. <laughs> um, uh, and the link with Angel is gone. I thought you established uh, it again for like two minutes. Yeah, yeah until the next long rest. And we long rested. Did you long rest? When I long rested? Wait. This is the like... sun out? No, it's still nighttime. Oh, God. Um, uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. So, mental link is, mental link is still there. Mm -hmm. uh, bro, 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 rolling rock knocker. Rolling... Uh Yes, yeah, I, I. Elam Dare. Elam Dare. Yes, and Dare. Okay, we should meet up right now. It's like three oh. o'clock in the morning. What do you I mean? I understand. We need to meet up right now. Do, do you mind coming by the shed out back? I, it'd be good if I could just keep working while I go through whatever, whatever this is. Okay, yeah, no, for sure. You can can absolutely do that. Um, yes, Elam Dare, can you go to the shed as well? Yes, I believe I can find it. Okay, cool. Uh, and then... <sighs> action, action. Movement, action. Uh... I'm not saying things I can do on my turn. I'm just thinking those things right now. Um, 
Okay. All right. I, I go. I go. I go to. I go to. I go to the shed. <sighs> you uh, you walk in and you can see somehow Brolin has managed to just fill this shed with tools and parts. You see his shield is on the main table. It is open and it looks like he's been doing some serious work on it. Um, you also see off to the side a, a weird set, like it's everything, most of everything is very cohesive about how it, like it's put, like it's arranged. And off to the side, it seems like there's like definitely a separate area that has something else going on. Just like blacksmithing, none of the other stuff is like a smithing or like a fire-based thing, but on the side, he's got a little bit of like a, a small forge and like a, a, a way to pour metal and, and uh, maybe even like... Um, uh, like chisel out metal and, and sculpt metals, uh, uh, smithing in that way. Um, and as you open the door, uh, he doesn't really look back. He says, all right, all right, hey, uh, come on in. Come on in. Uh, You've made yourself at home here. Well, yeah, we have uh, we were on the road for a couple of days, and I mean, we met you guys, and you guys talk about a lot of stuff, and a lot of stuff goes in here, and a lot of stuff starts spinning. And so now that I was able to spread out, I kind of had a lot, uh, a lot I needed to work out in my head. Okay, all right. So, do you think your your brain could take any more things to kind of sift through, or should this wait? Well, no. You, yeah, I can. I'm just gonna tinker. I'll, I'll tell. Like, I'm gonna. He he kind of puts down. He stops working on his shield and kind of goes over, he takes a, this tube that he's like got this chisel and he's kind of like trying to smooth out some some like kind of notch on this tube. Um, but he kind of nods at you showing that he's got you got your, his attention. Okay, is Elmdare here? Yeah, Elmdare arrives shortly after. Um, he has his hair pulled back in like a makeshift man bun. Um, but he's just wearing like his sleeping attire. And meanwhile, I'm in full armor. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. You guys are here. Uh, Nisei is asleep. I I didn't know where Flint's room was, and she didn't answer the mental call, so she's probably real passed out. Um, so had a had a had a cool thing happen while I was sleeping. Um, a cool thing. Sarcasm. Sorry. Um, I. <sighs> I had a vision. Like, but in your sleep, like a dream or, or were you yes. awake and like, okay, okay. It was, it was a dream that woke me up basically. Gotcha. Um, it was, uh, it was, it was the night of the ball. Um, everything, everything was like chaotic and, and Brolin, you were, you were, you were holding back a crowd of people. Um, Elam Dare, you were bleeding out in front of me. Uh, uh, Flint was talking to somebody I think I've seen before, but neither of you would know um, because it's not somebody from this time period. And and Nisea was 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 crouched over her mother's body? Was her mother dead? I don't know. I was I was up with Elamdare. That's how I could notice he was bleeding out. But I I don't know what to make of it. <laughs> well, I'm just uh it's interesting that you got I mean, isn't it interesting that you got a vision? I mean, I, I understand when she got a vision, but is there something that what can I, I mean, can you think of anything that might connect you to this? Enough to 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 receive such a omen? I mean, I'm a pretty anxious person, so maybe it was just a bad dream. But did it feel like a dream? N no, 
if it was it was a very real dream it fe- it felt like a vision like this is going to happen type of thing so uh, let's see it's different enough right that ness is the one she had was about about maybe even further in the future i don't even know but but yours was about the ball right so you, it seemed like it was the ball yes yes that's what it that's what it seemed like we were all in our fancy clothes um and there was there was so much so much blood um sorry uh but y- yes th- that's um that's what i saw i figured i should tell people immediately um so there you have it do with the information what you will but i think whatever this ball is something significant multiple significant things are going to occur and i think we have to we have to try our best to make sure my vision doesn't come true well, with the, there's so many players. It's not. It's it's not just yes, your vision, but also about the vial of repose, capsule of repose, anything connected with that. Like, there's so many components that we're playing with here. I, I just I don't see how it's all connected. I I mean, it's all. I don't. I don't, I mean, I, I don't either, but uh, there's, there's something there. We gotta, mm, we gotta find the missing piece during the days leading up. We gotta figure something out. Uh, There's something we're missing. There's something that's going to tie it all together. Hopefully, I don't know, but it's just, we're missing something. There's something we don't know. And I think just just thinking on it, I think places we can look are man. Who would know Ness's mom the best? Who could we talk to that can maybe give us a little bit more insight into the situation at their home. I you mean, besides her daughter. Well, yeah, I mean, Ness hasn't been there for a while. I mean, like, while we've been away, someone who can maybe give us some kind of something weird they saw. Or... Oh, we would have to know someone that works with her or part of that part of the city well yeah i i met earlier tonight with nisea i met a a a, a paladin um who serves the queen but he's been on mission for a bit so i don't know if he would know anything but i could because i have i have training tomorrow with him um or at least he'll be there. I don't know if he'll train me or what, but I could at least ask questions. You have yeah, I think. Paladin? Yes, yeah, um, yes. Uh, you know, uh, I, bu- I haven't known you very long, but uh, I saw you doing a lot of cool uh, nature spells. Let's just say I would maybe stick to those that repertoire in front of a paladin. Maybe. maybe oh, of not course. Somebody. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know what you're talking about. Mm, well, uh, yeah, okay. Really? Like, you kind of shoot this. There's a difference. I mean, I, I know magic. <laughs> I do, you know. Uh, well, that's good, because I don't. 
you don't know that there's something a little more dark with some of the spells that you've been slinging lately. I mean, sure, they're darker, but that's just flavor for flavor's sake. I assume that's not. I'm not. I'm not probing further than that. I'm just saying I don't want you going in front of a paladin for training and maybe giving him the wrong idea. That's it. Right. No, absolutely. Um, I'll try to keep my flavor to a minimum. And so. Weird thing to say, but uh, good. Uh, do you do you need me to come with you? No, I mean you seem like you've clearly got something going on here. Um, but how many days until the ball? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> mm, roughly like four or five, depending. Okay. Um. So here's a question, Brolin. Could you could you make some temporary armor for Elam Dare in that time? You know, I mean, armor. I could. I, what's wrong? Is Elam, Elam Dare is wearing like leather armor. Uh, he wears. This I don't have him pulled up. He's the third character in this episode. Ellen Dare wears da, 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 da. probably like better armor than <laughs> probably. Probably. Well, not no. Brolin, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not trying to be. Uh, he wears. Uh, scale mail, like mithril scale mail, so he doesn't get that disadvantage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's no, he, I, I that is not my expertise. I could do it. And I, and he shows you like this metal rod he's been working on. It is, it's, this is like blacksmithing. It's very functional looking, but rough. It, it looks like it'll do the job, but it's not refined. It's not, it's not a craft. It doesn't seem like I, you know, I'm just doing it to make it look right. I, you know, it's just not my. I, I feel like one, his armor's pretty nice, and two, it'd be better. I mean, just to pay someone. I feel. Uh, plus, I've still got to work on. I don't. I have, honestly have no idea uh, how. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm starting from scratch on this whole containment magic item thing that we're uh, we've been thinking about. Right, right. You've got a lot going on project-wise. Um, so, Elamdar, are you comfortable, like, confident in your armor? Like, do you think I'm going to get hit, is what you're saying? I'm asking you. So, in the vision, Elamdar was, like, throat slit? No, like, uh, there was a wound in his chest. Okay. All right. I'm just saying if we're in a situation where somebody big comes to hit you, how confident are you that you can withstand the hit? Relatively confident. I generally don't like to be within hitting melee range. Melee range of actual opponents. Right. Right. Then why would... But at the party, your guard would be down, so... Or at least that's what the vision would suffice. Your guard's never down, though. Yes, it's generally never down. I'm just trying to figure out how, in the vision, we got to that situation. Well, uh... Because I, I wasn't raised to just scoff and brush off visions that come to me. No, me neither. So I mean, way to go around them. How do you mean? Like you said, well, you saw me in a right in a very direct way. You could now not be at the ball. You could be. I mean, we. I. I feel like we need you at the ball, but you could be 
somewhere peripheral and uh, you would be safe. But I would say that, you know, sometimes visions are specific because they need to be, but not because that's the message, you know, but perhaps the danger is the message, but the things you saw are just so you would understand the urgency here, you know? Right, right. So I'm, not, I'm just saying having you not there doesn't protect you from the potential recourse of the image or the vision. Right. And there's, because in the vision, it clearly seems like three separate things are occurring. There's Elamdare bleeding out. That's one event. There's Nisea's the queen on the ground. That's another event. There's a person from the future in this time period talking to Flint. That's a completely separate event. So these are three different events that are taking place at the same time. I just, I don't know how we prepare for that. But we have yeah, to. we do. Do you, with your uh, Abiter, what's, what's it called again? Arbiter? Arbiter. The Guardian. Like your, well, with, you know, these anomalies and all that, you know, the dangers of them. Doesn't that seem like that could potentially be three anomalies in a very small proximity? Maybe, but we don't. An anomaly would mean that it's not supposed to happen, right? I don't know the official history. So I don't know if the queen's supposed to fall. Well, I don't know if Elam Dare's supposed to die. To be, to be fair, if you are at this ball at this time, you are an anomaly, right? And Elam Dare would be an anomaly because... And Flint. And whoever this is from the future. And the vial of repose, potentially. How strong it is, right? Like, we just... what what Are we just creating a spark plug? That's not even the term he would know. <laughs> are we just creating... A catalyst? A bonfire? Yeah. Um, That's what I'm worried about. So maybe the bet... Like... The safest and not safest option would it be just spread all these things away from each other. But that doesn't seem safe. Because well, we're, doesn't. we're safest and strongest together, I would think. Say these three things happen regardless of where we're at when they happen. Was there anything that seemed like we could prevent it or? Not from what I saw. I mean, I just, what it looked like what I was seeing was an aftermath. So these three events collided together, something happened. And then what I saw is what happens after if that makes sense. Makes sense. I mean, I could, I could just go back to bed and pray for some guidance. That's an abs I'll probably do that anyways, actually, but I, I, I don't know what to do but I know I can't do it alone. I am, we got, we do got some time. So, you know, I feel like we, uh, we get, we, man, <laughs> we managed to get a lot done in a very short amount of time so far. So uh, I feel like let's get a plan. I, I think we'll maybe have a little bit better idea where to go next after your talk with uh, Mr. Knight, Paladin guy. Um, but, I don't know. I feel I'm starting to feel that the one thing that we might be able to control is 
Nasea's ability to slay her mother. So, right. just think about that. Maybe there's an option or a control that says no matter what goes down, whatever combination of events, at least we can focus on that. Making sure that goes the way we want it to go. Right. Right. Um... Yeah. Okay. Um, easily done. No, not really. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know where to go from here. Um, besides talk to Derek and see if he has anything to share. Um, but I have... Uh, I hope it doesn't come to the point where he's like, oh, why are you asking all these questions about the queen? And then I get arrested. That'd be unfortunate. No. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, that would be, sorry, that'd be unfortunate. Uh, I just to uh, keep it, you know, relative. Say it's for safety. Say Ness is worried about it. She's worried. Just say you want to be able to comfort her. But if Nisei is worried about it, why wouldn't she just talk about it? She's not the type of person to just hold something into herself. T tell them that their history keeps her from going to They They have a history? I don't know. Do I remember if... I don't know if it was, he was the... I don't think he was the knight. No, I don't think he... I don't, I don't think they have a history. Okay. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Since when? when? Um, well, uh, yeah, just don't prod too much. Just say, um, just say Ness is worried about her mother and see what you can... That should be enough for at least him to say, yeah, I've noticed something strange in the neighborhood. Okay. Maybe we should ask for like a an attendance list like all the people that were invited and yeah but you're gonna have to that one you're gonna have to have a specific right for like right. hey uh kate was wondering if one of her sorry ness was wondering if one of her buds from school is coming to the ball you know can i check the list to see if this thing i don't know i don't know but you're gonna need some i feel right that might be pushing it a little much. No, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to get us the most information we can get without seeming suspicious. Yeah. Tell. I mean, she seemed to trust him. I feel like you can give a little to get a little. You can say that Ness has noticed maybe uh, her mom is be is have been acting more irritable lately. That seems reasonable enough to say. I mean, Kate's been out there. God, Ness has been on the road for so long. Uh, Perhaps, you know, perhaps she's changed, but don't obviously don't slander Nisei or anything, but but give them a little say that she's concerned and that, you know, he should follow up on that. Right. OK, so that's that's step one. We can figure out the rest, I guess, after that. Um, OK. I will probably, because the mental link will wear off um, once I finish sleeping, <laughs> once I get back to sleep and finish sleeping. So I'll have to find you guys and re-up the link. That way we can stay in contact throughout the day. Because LM Dare, I know you've got some things that you want to go do. And Brolin, you're probably going to be here. Yep and I'll be out training. So so meet back out here like 5.55-ish. So two hours and 30 minutes from now. Yes. Why can't we just meet up? Oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that Because I have to be at training right. at like yeah, yeah, 6. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll be, I'll be up. I'll be up. 
All right. And if, Elamdare, you can't get up in time, that's fine. Just keep in contact with Brolin. Or track me down. Whichever you prefer. I've already rested for the night. So. <laughs> oh. So you're you're good to go. Yes. Okay. So really, I'm the only one that needs to go back to bed. <laughs> All right. Um, I will. I will go do that. Before you go, actually, uh, Elmer, if you don't mind, uh, back talk with Cinder for a second. Oh yes, sure. Um, and he walks out. Roland. Kind of like turns two chairs weirdly towards each other, and he takes a seat in one. Uh, he has his head kind of low, and he says, "You said uh, you were gonna pray, try to get a, a, little, a few answers. Uh, do you mind uh, showing me what that's all about?" What do you mean, like prayer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can. I can do that. I mean, the way I do it might be a little, like, against some people's religious views, but I I, I, I know, I know, I know. I actually, I know a bit about the divine magics. I, I, I can tap into them a little bit, but they're, they're from a source I, I can't connect with. I can't identify. It, this, there's something, and I feel. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. I wouldn't think you're doing something wrong. So, I mean, yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I understand that your language that you speak with your God is different than other people's and everyone does their own thing. But I'd like, I'd like to maybe just hear, you know, I'd like to, yeah. I mean, does that work if you do it, like, out loud with someone? Sit I mean, I can go, like, try to hide or something. I don't even know, like... I whatever. mean, the the general view about gods is that they're pretty omnipotent and omnipresent. So, like, they would just know that you're just, like, hiding in a... Hiding in the corner. They'd be like, what's that guy doing in the corner? When I could just be, like, my friend Brolin here, you know. I did not know that they were... Okay, uh, I trust you, so... I mean, that's just some people's view, you know? Yeah. Everybody thinks their god is all-powerful. So, but how... But you, you feel something in return. Like, you said that you've actually had conversations. Yes, I have heard the voice of my goddess in my mind. Is that, is that also how it is for most other people? I mean, I've read um, books, but they... I don't know. Some people claim it, but um, I think it's one of those things where you have to experience it for yourself to truly believe it. Because obviously I was raised to be like, she's listening constantly, like she hears you, it's all good, don't worry. And I didn't hear her voice until I got here, where she's more powerful, I would assume, where I'm more powerful. So it also depends on how you connect with the god and how strong that connection is. So, so either this entity that I'm trying to connect with is very powerful and doesn't give a shit about me, or isn't very powerful and can't connect to me, or, I don't know, is there another one? I don't think it has to be limited to just those two options. It could be you don't, it could just be down to belief. You don't believe in the source enough to even think that it could touch you, you know? And I think it's also, there's also a thing about making your presence known to a deity. Like, I'm here, this is what I'm up to, this is what I'm trying to do to either serve you or connect with you, recognize me. And just doing that on repeat until somebody keys in on you and is like, you, there's something different about you. A 
and you feel that you have done that. Apparently. If any of my time in the past has told me anything, it's that I have gifts and I have people's attention. Even though I'm always fighting for it, I have the attention of the being that I'm seeking the attention of. And she's watching. Every mistake I make, every everything I do wrong, everything I do right, all of my intentions, she knows. And she recognizes that. Man. I don't know. I feel like uh, I would hope that that would provide you some amount of comfort because I feel like it would me. It does. It does. Um, I think I actually kind of cried when I first heard her voice um, because it was just... I think deep down it's just nice to be recognized and noticed and to feel seen i think everybody wants to feel seen to some degree those who lurk in the shadows are usually up to no good so okay why well, so you want to you want to just sit down and yeah i mean if that's not the weirdest thing you've ever done kind of scenario no, I've done far weirder. Okay, okay. I believe. I mean, you've seen Flint and I interact. I've done it's it's weird. So I just sit down and so we're just like eye to eye. No, you don't know. I mean, I kind of lower my head. I'm just kind of listening and trying to focus. Kind of focus on the ground actually. Okay. So I just sit down and I just So are we praying to my god or trying yeah. to beseech your figure i i would i, I want to hear you talk to your god but maybe i mean i don't know how it works maybe you're like hey maybe uh put in a good word for this guy with whoever he's trying to connect does that i don't know i mean at least you're putting at least the effort would be put in you know at least you're yeah. trying something if you want to give me a reference i would appreciate it yeah absolutely um all right, so you ready? Uh, am I ready? Are you ready? I mean, no, I'm, I'm asking you. I, that's, I think, yeah, yeah, let's go. Mind's open. My mind's open. Take some deep breaths. <sighs> all the equations, all the puzzles, all the things what? with your equipment that you're trying to focus on. You have well, to I actually had out. done a good job. I hadn't thought about it for a second, but you saying it kind of got well. Let it fade it. out. Well, okay, you gotta okay, let okay. it fade yeah, out, I'm man. Trying, I'm, okay, okay, okay. You just gotta let things pass away, to where it's just you in the moment, reaching up, tugging at that thread. Okay. Well, hello. Mother Hukador, whichever you prefer. Um, it's, it's me. It's us. I think we're both here looking for some guidance, trying to find answers, trying to seek help. Um, and I just hope that you recognize that the efforts being put in and you're not looking at me, right? Mm -mm. Okay. Um, so I just hope that you recognize that the effort is being put in and we're trying to reach out, trying to make contact. And I hope that you can help Roland find what he's looking for, give him what he's searching for, and help him understand more, because I think he's a man who's just trying to understand how things work. So. And I will do this as a show of good faith, as I cast plant growth. If you cast this spell using one action, choose a point within range. All normal plants in a 100 foot radius centered on that point become thick and overgrown. 
a creature moving through the area must spend four feet of movement to move every one foot. So I'm just doing that. In the shed? So the shed is just now a floor of plants? And a hundred feet around it. <laughs> okay. What was was that you or was that was me? That was some flavor. Sorry. Sorry. Oh well yeah, but I mean like obviously it's you, but it's also her. Yes. yes. Interesting. I didn't know that you should like have such I'd, a presentation. I do it as a gesture more than anything. So did I get anything? <laughs> uh, make a perception check, you two. Like me too? Yeah. No. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, wow. That's better. Uh, 12. Okay. Seven. Okay. Um, so, Cinder, you do this. Uh, plants and vines start to fill the walls and other areas ceiling of this shed and you can imagine it's probably reciprocating that outward as well uh, the grass around you is very floral now that it's no longer dirt I imagine um, even though the vines are still like moving and interlacing between each other uh all of Brolin's stuff is kind of like still intact in his area. There's just like vines everywhere. Um, but Brolin, you see tiny green lights hovering behind Cinder on some of the plant fauna, like by the flowers. And they're dimming like ever so slightly. And I need you both to make wisdom save. I should have used a different dice. I saw it. You have I luck. Said, you have luck. You have luck and inspo. Uh, yeah, I'm using one of those lucks for sure. I'm putting this dice away. I'm going to use a luck better. as well. <laughs> I'm going to use an inspo. D6 inspo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, oh. I like that much better. Wisdom. Wisdom, that's a dirty 20. 23. Nice. We didn't want anything bad to happen, right? Right? Um, they both fail. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> Darn it, and I was, uh, and I didn't use my inspo. Dang it. However, she will use her legendary actions to make you both succeed. And your surrounding turns to dark. And if you were to open your eyes right now, they're both glowing green from iris to pupil all the way through. Both Brolin's and yours, Cinder. And in this pool of darkness, there's a light that starts to shine down from the sky. And you both hear a voice. Little light. I have seen you tonight. I have seen you these past days. But your light is fading. Why? Is... She's talking to me. I... Um... So I am born with evil inside of me and it's starting to take hold inside of me and I, I'm scared and I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I want this venom out of my veins. I want it gone. Is that what you believe? That you're darkness yes and you don't see anything but you feel 
this like omnipresence kind of like weight down in the area and you know that she's there even if she's not visibly present you were born here you were born on this planet And though there might be darkness in you, you were also born from me. And there is goodness in that. It will try to make you seem as if you're very small, as if nothing matters as if you can do nothing to help those that you care about but remember my light is in you and it is strong as you are and as she says this that green light starts to intensify until all that darkness kind of washes out and the green is mixed with white and there's a slight bit of gold remember this little light remember this and it seems like you both blink and you're back in the shed. Uh, um, you mean you were talking to her? You were like talking. You were born evil. Well, let's come back to that. Hold on, hold on. Like, it's it's all a circle. It's all a thing. But are, uh, I feel like she validated you. I would call it more of a reassurance. A reassurance that. I still am and I still do have the potential for good despite the evil inside of me. Has she ever said that before? No. Wow. That's 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 good, right? Uh yeah. Is the evil the magic? Is that that ain't the same? This has to stay between us. Okay. I am kind of looking at my hands. A child born of corruption. And no, I ever mean... since ever since that night that I tried to mess with Flint's necklace, I've had this voice in my head that has given me access to corruption magic. Yeah, but is that a cultural thing? Like, were you born left-handed and all of a sudden, oh, he's corrupted? Uh, or is this what? No, I think I was straight up cut from the cloth of evil. But apparently also cut from the cloth of good. So... You're the stories you've told of your parents aren't evil. You don't think you were born of your parents? No. Um, I was an anomaly. And my parents were sent to seek me out. And they decided to adopt me. Yeah, that fills a gap. That definitely, uh, 
connect some dots there. Um, well, hey. It seems like it seems like you've got the light in you that you need to hopefully make make the choice. And I feel like if you're hanging around with with us, part of that choice is to do good and use the light. Thank you for sharing that experience with me I, there uh, but like intensity wise was that normal or was that like extra or was that where that was more than i've ever experienced wow i've never i haven't ever felt something so affirming as that before Yeah. Um, yeah. I. Uh, I don't. I don't know much else what to say. Yeah. Yeah. That was a lot. Perhaps. Are you? Are you gonna be okay? I mean. Yeah. 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 I'll. I'll find my way back to bed, um, and you'll stay here and continue working. Yeah, I mean, if you need to, and he points, there is like a rag, a few rags in the corner. I mean, you could just lay out over there, and hopefully that wouldn't keep you awake, but you can also go back to your comfy bed. It's up to you. Um, is there like a weight or a presence in the shed? Um, no, it doesn't feel like suffocating or anything. Not okay. until that, that moment, but it's right. subsided since. Okay. Well, I've, I guess I've made the space comfortable for myself with my flashiness. Um, I forgot. <laughs> So I guess I will just go sleep in the corner. I mean, I'll only be there for a few hours, not even. So, yeah, you work away. Um, I recommend continuing to try what I just did, but on your own, and just kind of focus on that tether, because I can feel like a like a little, like a kite string leading to something. Well, yeah, that that seems like something I'm missing. So find a kite string in the air. Got it. Yep. <laughs> no metaphor about it, man. Yep. Oh, okay. I, I, no, I, 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 that helps. I, I, I'm, I think I got some ideas from that. So thank you. And uh, congratulations. I guess. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I, again, like I said, if I had a god <clears throat> telling me that I was good, I would feel like that perhaps I've been doing good. Hopefully. That's the goal, at least. All right. Good night, Cinder. Yep. I'm going to go ahead. You keep you keep working. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a break from any, like, loud construction stuff. <laughs> uh, and you'll appreciate this, Stax. I'm going to finally sit down. And I have the shield, like, already on the table. And I'm going to take the amulet that I bought from Garmo. Garmo? Yeah. I'm going to put it on the spark right there on the artifact. And I'm going to ritualistically cast Identify. 
on the amulet, hoping that casting this spell while also reaching out to this, you know, this source that I know I'm getting some of my magic from. I'm just reaching out, hoping that maybe combining this thought of connection with a spell, maybe. Okay. So you're going to take the next 10 minutes to do that? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Um, and while Brolin's doing that and Zendaya's resting, we're going to take a break. <laughs> Ooh! Exclamation critical! When we come back, we'll say who won the first round of dice giving outs ease. Yes. But we'll be back here shortly. Okay, bye. <laughs>
Welcome back, uh, the Frisky Clicker. You have won the giveaway. Hit me up on the Discord and let me know that you... Have y'all met before in the Discord? Or y'all like a connection? <laughs> yeah, do you know him? Do you know uh, him? He sounds familiar. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just hit me up and we'll get you some dice. Uh, make sure you all enter estimation critical again to enter for our second giveaway, which will happen at the end of this session. So, Brolin, you cast identify on that item that was given to you by Garma. Episode four, three, something three? early on. Yeah, like, something real early on. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so as you do that um your eyes open up to a series of patterns and you see numbers kind of like in different slots just moving and kind of working their way into certain areas the pattern very complex but it seems like something that you would be interested in trying to solve but with that identify you can roll three d20s and i'm gonna do them all at the same time. oh also oh, boy on. that luck and inspo that you may or may not have used on that save didn't get used so you still have it mm. okie dokie uh -huh. roger roger come on come on guys legendary actions they're legendary. There we go. Oh, don't That's make that nice. face. Okay. Like, do you want the total or like each individual? Uh, each individual, sorry. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm really hoping this is more of like a random thing than it is like a higher is better thing, but let's find out. So, that let's start the lowest. Why not? Let's get out of the way. That's a two. Okay. And, and then we got a six. Okay. And then up there perfectly average is the two nice nice we're rolling high tonight baby so none of those numbers <laughs> slot into place <laughs> <laughs> what but does that mean there does seem to be six combinations or six slots for numbers that these numbers are trying to like file their way through in this pattern You just uh -huh. gotta find the right six numbers. And it's not any of those. So could, do I roll again? Uh you'll be able do to I guess? uh make tomorrow a series of throws every short or long rest. That is fair. Short rest you could do one, long rest you could do three. That's fair. Now he's like, oh no, I gotta 
right? Just keep track of the ones that it isn't. Yeah. Two, and then just don't roll six, those. Ten, uh, not. That's why I wanted you to like be on this episode four or whenever you got it because then you would already be like well at least two or three long rest in so you know. mm-hmm. <laughs> yep it's fine two or three episode four that tells you a lot about our game two or three long rest <laughs> you know. right but but you know from the identify spell that after this combination's unlocked uh the the thing should open up cool very cool. <laughs> Colin's like kicking himself right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Yeah. No. No. It's gonna bother. <laughs> it's gonna bother me for sure. Uh, so Brolin's frustrated, and unfortunately, he's hoping Cinder is just in the deep enough sleep. That he's going to go back to the spark shield and he has completely isolated the artifact out of the shield and is like cutting sections out of the face of the shield kind of around where the spark was in a in a circular like a, a this one a lot more refined edge kind of circular configuration on the outside of the arc of, of the spark um and at this point he's kind of like molding uh layers of metal uh, so he's already probably like molded some so he's just maybe soldering maybe that's not that's not so, so much of a loud thing so he's got a welding or so, some kind of well melding uh metal welding kind of configuration to to join pieces of metal on this kind of interior section oh make a perception check seventeen nice so the all sparks like in front of you right yeah it's kind of i i yeah i I've made like a mount for it to be out of the shield. And it is currently away from the shield, yeah, on the table. And it's like it's like crystalline, right? It's got like that. Sheen. Yeah, it's like it's it's a metallic. Yeah, it's a metallic. It's like an alloy or something. It's some weird. It's not raw ore, but it's also it doesn't look very refined. It's raw, but it's weirdly. It's got a weird sheen to it. Yeah. And you said you rolled a 17. Mm-hmm. Um, as you're working there diligently, you know, as Brolin does, you see something in, like, the shady part of the all spark. Not, like, the glossy or, like, the the sheen from the metallic bits or anything like that, but in the the darker crust of it. And at first you think your eyes are like playing tricks on you and one luck and inspo to Brolin. Ooh, sure thank you. Anymore. I think it's good. But then you see it again and it's your brother and he's moving about somewhere. It's almost like you can see another place that he's at, but as you're trying to like figure out what it all is, it kind of like fades and glosses back over to that normal all spark sheen. I'm going to go over. I'm going to take my gloves off. I'm going to go over and I'm going to touch the spark. And I'm going to, out loud, but not loud, but I vocalize, but not loud, just softly, I say, is, is that the sign, my brother? My, my vision, this now, is, is this you trying to reach me? And 
and the He looks over towards Sindar. Uh, my man's just laid out, just just sleeping like a a saint in them rags. <laughs> he doesn't have to do this. He's an elf. <laughs> He's a half elf. Don't half elves? No. Nope. Trance like? Nope. Just regular elves. Poor boy, Cinder. He likes sleeping, though. It's fine. Roland is going to cast... If you whip out some corruption magic right now, I'm going to flip. I'm going to walk <laughs> out. No. You mean Jacob's uh, going to walk he's out? He's going to... Not the <laughs> yeah, Jacob's going to just get up and walk away for a bit. He's going to cast Sanctuary on himself. But in doing so, he knows that this spell is from this divine source. So as he's casting it, he's going to close his eyes. He's going to, he's going to picture, he's going to try to put himself back into his vision. But he's trying to do some fucking mind shit and he's trying to cast the spell as he tries to immerse himself in his vision, and he, he's trying to have the sanctuary around him in this vision, that he is seeing his brother. He's trying to hold on to the divine protection of the spell while trying to access that memory. Okay. Um... Make a wisdom save again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're good at these. You got this. <laughs> I'm going big honker dice because my d20s have not mean. been great. Luckily, I have. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do an inspiration. <laughs> Cause you're inspired. Just one. Just one. <laughs> this is an inspired idea. That is another dirty twenty. Nice. Um, taking all you've learned this night and seeing what you have seen and experiencing what you've recently experienced, uh, as you cast Sanctuary on yourself, holding this all spark, um, you find yourself moving through a series of corridors down like a labyrinth of different rooms and there's other people with you uh, you don't recognize any of them uh, and you watch as one of them fades away and another individual fades in and then the severance is like cut and you're back holding the all spark in the plant overgrown shed. That was, that was different. Hey, Sundar. <laughs> I really don't, I don't know at this point exactly how much more sleep you got. But what? 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 So, sorry? What? I, th I think I I think I may have found a kite string. Oh, you found a kite Shoe string? string? That's awesome. You just gotta just tug on it, but let it guide you. You know. Well, I I I, I don't see it right now. I think. Yeah, but... you know, you got you you can do it. Oh, you're strong. You're capable. Are you, did you open your eyes ever? No. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm gonna not. I'm gonna let him hopefully go back to sleep for however long. Wait, 
you have a date. But it's probably you have if he has time. I uh, but I put the work away for for a bit, and I am going to go cook some breakfast. Like stuff that I can cook that I would cook because I'm at a place with like a kitchen, something a little nicer, not just like dehydrated meats. Okay, so you're going back into the tavern to like their cooking area. Hmm, you know, I don't know if I should leave Cinder in a shed asleep. That doesn't seem like the best idea. So what do I do? What do I do? What does Brolin do? What am I doing? Uh, I'm going to take out parchment, and I'm going to generally start trying to draw out some ideas for this uh, on this this new magic item, the new project. Okay. So just some sketching. Okay. Some uh, light sketch work. Do a mm, arcana or or a I don't even know what skill checks are anymore. Um, we'll do. Arcana or yeah. intelligence check? I, Arcana is good for me. Okay. I'm going to go with the Arcana. Yeah, get one, it, get it. one of these guys is going to have to roll good for you me. You got it. Okay. You have luck. You have three luck, I'm, right? I'm using them. Oh my gosh. Luck again. No, I only have one left after this one, so yeah, that's what it is. But this one's gone. Gosh darn it. I really want this to go well. Yeah, inspo. It's still, it's, it's, oh my God, how do I keep doing that? That is a dirty 20. But so it was an eight plus the five in spell plus set plus seven arcana. So I should be good at it. That's why I want to do good at it. I'm supposed to be good at it. Uh, so with the 30 20, um, it takes you probably the rest of the time before Cinder has to get up to come up with like a, a grounds of where to start in making an item. You're talking about the one to like contain Flint's thing. Yes. Uh, you do know that, like, many of the supplies you don't have on you, and you'll probably have to, like, go shopping for them or something. Mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. you have a rough sketch of the stuff that you will need to start building, which will take at least two days. For sure. I do want to make one note. Okay. In the initial design sketches, yes, I want it to be able to fit and contain the necklace, the amulet. Uh, on flint i also would if it's just a, a simple thing is making it a certain size i would like for it also to be able to contain the capsule of repose okay so as you're like sketching in your notepad um Your, your brain noggin does the math and realizes that Cinder probably needs to get up, up here mm -hmm. in a little bit. <laughs> uh, hey, bud. Cinder. Uh, what? Yeah, this, what's this, up? This time it's, uh, this time it's morning. You, you probably need to get up. Oh. Are we sure? Well, yeah, I mean, you did you want to be there on time? Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, just gotta... Ooh. And I, <laughs> I shoot up really fast, and then yeah. I kind of stand there and brush myself off, and then I get lightheaded, <laughs> and I go, "Whoop, too fast!" And I like brace myself against the wall. Are you, you all right? Yeah, you do. You know that thing that you do sometimes. I don't know. You're shorter, but like, where you get up too fast and all the blood just like rushes, and then you go, "Whoa." That happened. 
yeah, I'm, I'm like 40 years beyond that point. When I get up, it is usually a 10 second process of. <sighs> yeah, I know that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm up now. Wait, where's Elmdar? He's not here quite yet, but you know, you have a little time to maybe uh, freshen up. Just druid craft to freshen up my <laughs> to freshen everything up. I haven't re upped it in a bit, so I figured I'd just, you know, give it some vibrance. That's fancy. Did you learn that from some elves? No, I just kind of knew it. Oh. Is 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 your mother Ukador, is she kind of like a like to elves? A little to a lot of elves worship her that's a good question i mean my 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 one of my parents is an elf but one of my parents is a human so and they both worship her interesting or my parents <laughs> wait we're supposed to keep that on the down like a thought. Well, it's just us in the shed, so I think it's pretty on the DL. Yeah, but it's all about, you know, practice if you want to perform. That's not the saying, but, like, practice how you want to play, you know, like, play and practice as you want to play in the game, kind of. You know I'll what I mean? To be honest, you're coming at me with a lot of consonants, so I just, uh, your brain's I, still rolling. You need to take a step back. If I'm, I'm just saying I like to practice, like, if we're supposed to keep something quiet, I don't, I don't, I like to practice not saying it. So I don't just instinctively be like, oh yeah, remember that? And then accidentally say something you're not supposed to say. Yeah, no, that makes, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So, your parents. Yes, my parents. Yes. Those charmers. Oh, I don't think I heard that part. I don't think I know that Shadow is his horse, do I? I don't no. think I was given. Okay. Well, uh, good luck on your uh, training today, and uh, remember, don't don't be weird about it. Just just you know, to, uh, give a little to get a little, give a little to get a little. You know, say that we're concerned. Ness is right. Right. Felt something strange. What does he think? Right. Yes, if there's anything to be said about me, it's not weird and subtle. So, I've got this. Yeah. Oh. Was, was that a cow? Uh. What is that? It sounded, it sounded like somebody was saying somebody's name, but then. Uh, we sh should we go outside and check? Yeah, this I think out? we should go check that out. <laughs> Something seems awfully wrong. Uh, as you go towards the door to the shed, it's covered in vines. Uh, yep, yeah, that's that's on me. Yep. Can you make it? go away or do we to like cut a cut away through i mean <laughs> <laughs> i just checked i was like does this thing disappear and i was like oh no <laughs> i'm gonna <laughs> elm you locked us in the shed i'm gonna do my channel divinity to charm animals and plants you're so can... using that on that <laughs> yes it's cool, guys. He can ask them to move. So I need the plants to make a DC 15 wisdom saving throw. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I rolled a nat 20. All right. Yes! Can you move? Are you asking politely? Yeah. Hey, guys, we got to kind of, like, get through. I don't know if you could, like just kind of scooch out of the way a bit or if I need to move you. I don't want to break you. I don't want to destroy you. Uh, roll a 
nature check. Ah, yes, the thing I'm very good at. Uh, 14. Okay. Uh, it takes you a bit, but you see vines and stuff start to unravel around the door area until okay. it's clear. See, you just gotta ask nicely. It's It's your magic, you know? That's, I mean... <laughs> Personally, I don't really, like, ask. But... Uh... Did this... I open the... I go to open the door. Uh, it opens up, and you see Elm there on the other side, just like... <laughs> I was calling for five minutes. Well, th there was a situation... So, I'm gonna establish the mental link between the three of us. <laughs> so it'll just be the three of us for a bit that's a four so until the next long rest all right i gotta go good luck yep probably gonna need it uh alamdare you've got stuff to do you've Yes. Is this just going to stay viney? How bad is it? It's he like, like sticks all over the place. <laughs> Part of it's like touching into the tavern, like... It's a lot. Man. 150 feet worth. <laughs> this is like a real consideration. Like, you know, hey, let's ask your god for a favor, but holy shit, we gotta pay attention to, like, the surrounding area, huh? Yeah, you uh, maybe you know it. It was a it was a gesture in good faith. I gotta go. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'll just explain this to that really nice tavern keeper. You you're a charmer. You're a scholar. Good luck. Um. So you are you just heading back to the tavern to wait for Sir Derek? No, I said I would meet him at the temple. Okay. Okay. So you're heading there. Yes. Um, do you know where the temple is? No. <laughs> Are you going to ask anyone where the temple is? Yes. <laughs> Who are you asking? Gonna ask the tavern keeper. Okay. Uh, without much effort, he tells you uh, it's further into the city, about a 15-minute walk. Um, you can't miss it. Large building. Okay, got it. Thank you. And onward I stroll. Is that a vine? What? What? <laughs> no. So it takes you roughly 15 minutes and you arrive at this really large temple. A vizier. No. Open the... I, I open the door. It's a temple. People can walk in. What am I so scared of? I open the door. You walk in, and um, there's pews. Uh, there's a bunch of different candles lit up uh, against the walls. Um, some people are gathered here and there, but uh, what's your passive perception? Only 14. Nice. Uh, it takes you a hot second minute to uh, track Sir Derek down, but he's talking to one of the clerics there um and he notices you and like um like head nods you over <laughs> go over ah good morning Sindare. did you sleep uh, morning Derek. yeah it was a weird night but i i'm rested ah oh, good um so i take it this is your first time doing any training of sorts with paladins yes this would be my first time okay well we'll start from the top um usually when i come here i do a set of prayers get myself ready um however when i am casting spells or anything it's usually 
I don't know. I kind of have a feeling or like a sense of what I need to prepare to help me for whatever my journey is. So dependent, uh, it could change or it could be the same. Um, right. And I'm, I'm sure you have similar things being a cleric and all. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I have, I have options available. Options. Yes. Oh. Of, of different, you know, spells and stuff. Oh yes. Yes. I would imagine. Yeah. Um, yes. In, in regards to magic. Sorry. Okay. Uh, and he like leads you through the temple and you walk down like a set of stairs that leads, uh, like a layer below on, um, there's like a large open kind of squared off space. That's a little bit raised from the rest of the, um, temple keep. So have you have you sparred any? No, honestly, I've been kind of itching to spar. <laughs> ah, good. Um, I see that you use a spear. Yes, I do. Would you care to spar with me? Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. It would and be my honor. He walks up as you're like, <laughs> he's already like halfway <laughs> over towards. Uh, and he walks and climbs onto the, uh, or like walks up the stairs to get to the kind of like center of that square sparring area, you would imagine, if you had to guess. Right. Um, so as I'm walking up to meet him, so how, how long have you been a paladin for the queen? Oh, um. Uh quite a few years now um 15 give or take okay how long have you been a cleric less than a week really yeah well you seem to be rather experienced yeah, you could say I was born for this. There's no shame in that. Well, um, we'll keep it simple. We'll keep it light. Uh, first, I'd just like to see um, your combat style. Like, how do you hold your spear and shield when you're attacking someone? With your spear, of course. <laughs> I normally have my shield up like this and I'm holding my spear kind of back and over like this or I'm holding it out like this just depends like am I getting ready for somebody to come attack me then I'm like this if I'm going at somebody I'm like this okay um I fight a little bit differently um not to say that anything's wrong with the way that you handle yourself of course but um i mostly and you watch him like take out his spear and there's like a long blade on the back side i mostly just use my spear as both offense and defense oh really yes could you show, like, how? Well, uh, come at me. And he'll prepare himself. He'll hold the shield, or the, uh, the bladed weapons on both sides, technically. Well, one sharp blade on the bottom, and then the spear end on the top. Kind of like in a defensive posture, but also not very defensive stance-wise. Okay. And you just want me to try and hit you? Yes, if you can. I feel like I'm being set up for failure, but I'll give it a try. All right. And I kind of like put my shield up and I awkwardly kind of shuffle towards him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am ready. 
okay. You sh are you sure about this? Yes, I'm positive. Okay. And then I just go in for an attack. All right. Roll to hit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's a 14. Uh, you watch as you come in. Um, and you would think he would, like, deflect it or something like that. But he kind of just, like, slightly moves a little bit to the right. And your attack just goes a little and bit And so as straight. I see that, I quickly flip it around and try and smack him in the, in the face with the tail end of the spear. Okay. Twenty-four to hit. Okay, uh, so that one hits him uh, in the the side, like uh, the back side area, right on the aft shoulder. Ah, yes. How much damage was that? <laughs> uh, six. Okay. Okay, so your attacks aren't necessarily one way. Yes. I use both ends of my spear. Now, how... You were talking last night. How uh, do you generally protect others if they're close? I try to get the attention of the target... But what if there's multiple targets? Then I make myself a target. Like, for instance, we were in a fight with some individuals and uh, a couple of my friends were engaged with one and I ran up to him, stabbed him, smacked him, and then got his attention and then I broke off and went after the second guy, stabbed him, smacked him. And then I got the attention of them. And the third guy walked up to me and uh, just ruined my day with some necrotic energy. Like almost killed me in, in one hit. Um, I, I take it you're the only healer in your group? I don't even consider myself much of a healer. Right. Uh, well, uh, generally speaking, that's a good tactic. However, you can't really protect people if you're bleeding on the ground. But I'm like a temporary distraction. Yes, but you want to be like a long-term distraction. Correct. Whatever length can help my friends get an opening. Well, there's a way to be a distraction and also be a formidable foe. Like how? Mm. Oh, okay. Here. Try and attack me. And you'll watch him, like, flip the bladed side of the spear upward and his stance will like crouch down a little bit more okay go ahead all right so i take a couple steps back and i run at him but i run to his side and as i'm running past him i try to stab him in the back okay and for stance purposes, he is dodged. So you can roll to attack at disadvantage. Okay. That's a nine. Nice. So as you try and come around the back, he flips the tip of the spear uh, downward so that the bladed side connects with just like the lining of the shaft from the spear so that it kind of like veers off the attack in a way. And I try to swing 
like take that momentum and just kind of as i'm missing just adjust and tap him in the back okay still a disadvantage yes okay Eleven. <laughs> nice. Uh, similarly, he quickly taps it with his uh, wrist, and the spear side comes down, um, but he pushes his weight into it so that your like side, uh, essentially back side of the spear, goes downward towards the ground. And while y'all are still engaged, he moves out of your range. Um, providing an attack of opportunity, essentially. Come on, don't let up. Okay. Disadvantage still? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> That's an 11 again. Nice. And just as you, like, stumble and try and catch your footing you swing for another hit with the spirit end and it's just out of range as he doubles back ah better um but but do you see what i meant in that case you've wasted a lot of energy and i've kind of redirected it and also not taken a hit this time but i have not attacked you once okay so what if I try to do what you just did, and you try to hit me? You want me to come at you? Ye we're sparring, right? Ah, uh, yes. I just want to make sure we're both on the same page. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll also crouch down and have my spear up and just kind of try to make myself as small as possible behind my shield as I take the dodge action. Okay. Um, he's going to go with his spear. Disadvantage. 21 to hit. That hits. And then Oops. he's going to follow it up with another <laughs> attack because he could do two of those. <laughs> 14. That misses. Miss. Um, and... The first attack does just 12 points. Just 12 points? Yeah, you watch as he, like, <laughs> he switches it to just holding with one hand, so it's less damage. So as he, as he gets the first attack in, and he just, like, stabs me in the leg <laughs> i like bat the spear out with my shield and then he goes for another stab and i just shift to the side and smack his attack away with the shield ow <laughs> <laughs> you you feel good about that no well, good. You also didn't run away, so I didn't get another <clears throat> swing at you. Why would I run away? Are you trying to get their attention, or are you have I got your attention, or are you someone else? Well, it depends. If it's you and someone else here as well, I mean, I have op op options available. Right. However, if I waste all my options on you, then they have more options. Correct. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I just, like, hop backwards <laughs> out of his attack range. Uh, he's gonna try to. Still a disadvantage? Again. Yep. Ten. Nice. Ah. See? I mean, you took a little bit of damage, and I'm sure with a bit of training, we can um, 
work through the kinks, but you're not afraid of falling in battle, are you? No. Then you're probably the most dangerous combatant anyone will come across. All I have to do is actually hit them. True. I mean, hits are a thing, yes, but it's knowing when to put in your hits and when just to waste their energy, really. Right. So, okay. why didn't you take an oath? Or was this cleric thing just something you happened into, or...? Um, my parents are druids. Um, so I wasn't built like a druid. So I guess the next best thing was to be a cleric. But now that I'm a cleric, I'm like, I want to be more of a pal. It's confu- I don't really know. Like, I know what I want, and I'm trying to get there. If that makes sense. Yes. But who's stopping you from getting there? That would be myself. He kind of looks at you. There's uh, determination in you. And I think, uh, I believe, as a paladin, you could do a lot of good with it. If that's something that you actually want. I, th I think it is. It seems like the logical next step for me. Or at least it seems like the next step. I don't know if it's completely logical, but some people would be like, be an expert in your craft before you go venture out into others. And I, I just don't feel like I'm being as effective as I can be as just a cleric. There's nothing that stops you from just being a cleric or being something more. Um... I mean, as a paladin, you have to take an oath and you have to believe in it with like every fiber of your being. But if that's something you can do, then becoming a paladin is just becoming a paladin. Right. So I guess it would be more finding an oath that fits me best because I... I worship Elel. So I don't know. Yes. So I would want something that represents her best. Well, there's many different oaths. I'm sure um, I can give you a bit of research. Uh, if that's something that you would like. At least to yeah. see the different types. Yeah, for sure. I'd appreciate that. The laminated pamphlet. <laughs> right. Perfect for my tears to roll off of. <laughs> but I I I would like you to read it with an open mind. A lot of it can be a bit heavy. Some of it can be um not what you quite imagine at first. But overall, the experience is rather uplifting. Okay. Right, right. So, as a cleric, I'm more focused on the nature aspect. So as a paladin, would I want to focus on that even more, or should I branch out into a different focus? 
Well, again, your oath needs to be something that you believe in thoroughly. So if that's nature, then that probably is the direction you should stick with. Because I, I, it's not just nature, it's the preservation of all things that are good. That's my, my main goal. I want to protect the beauty of nature, but also the beauty of life. Have you heard of the Oath of the Ancients? I don't think so, no. It's a bit of an older oath. The Green Knights, as they call them. Interesting. Um, I could get you some information about them. Um, to be fair, I haven't seen an Oath of the Ancients paladin in quite a many years. What's what's your oath again? I can't remember if I asked. Um, he pauses. Well, devotion. Right. I wasn't sure if there was a specific one to be like in service to royalty or not particularly. I think uh, your actions speak more than your oaths, but your oaths do heavily define you. Right. And, you know, speaking of royalty, um, I was talking to Nisea. Ah, uh, yes, the princess. Yes, and um, she was expressing some concerns about her mother, wanting to make sure she's okay, if she's been acting strange at all, just wanting a check-in, and I figured since I was seeing you today, I could go ahead and ask. Uh, sure, I, um, I have recently seen the queen, um just the other day she seemed fine I mean her normal self it did did Nisea say anything that sparked the concern or would it um, be something that the queen would show I think it was a bad dream oh well I believe the queen should be back today. I mean, I rode on Shadow to get back a little bit early. I feel as if these past few days have just been riding. Right. But she had, like, the queen hasn't been making strange requests or anything like that. Well, I did get notice to up and leave here roughly three mornings ago. Typically, uh, escort missions or anything like that have a bit more notice. Usually helps us, paladins, and also the gods to know what we're getting ourselves into. And considering I was meeting the queen after she already left, it was an odd request. I must say. Okay. Because I'm just curious because I'm obviously I'm more invested in Nisea than I am the queen. Have you met her? The queen? No, I haven't had the opportunity. But I, you know, I've, I mean, she's a queen. I don't know if I'm worthy enough to catch her eye, but... I'll, like, I'll be around at the ball, but I'll be sticking close to Nasea. I mean, if you're Nasea's friend, then I'm sure the queen would have nothing but good things to say to you. <laughs> As I sneeze. Bless you. <laughs> um, okay. And that whole time he was talking, passive insight of 17, nothing was going off? Nope, he uh, seems very genuine about his words to you. 
Okay. All right. I think Nisea would prefer it if you would um, update her of anything, if anything were to occur. That way she's kept in the loop about things concerning her mother because her mother's moving around so much and is always busy doing something, so... I mean, if there's a concern, it's worth looking into, and if I notice anything, I'll be sure to let her know. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for humoring me. I know I'm just some boy, but... Boy? Yeah, people have been calling me boy lately. It's really annoying. So if you want to get anger out of me, start calling me boy and child, then I'll get angry. I prefer just calling you Cinder. I'd rather your respect than your anger. I think that's the first time somebody said that to me, so interesting interesting well and i wish the same for you so should i refer to you as sir derek or uh you can just call me derek um the formalities normally just come at the uh castle right right and i try to attack him Go for it. <laughs> 25 to hit. Uh, let me make sure I don't have anything in my repertoire. that hit all right so i just had my spear down like at my side and i just quickly flicked it up and jutted it towards him but i stopped before i actually hurt him sorry you just had an opening i had to give it a shot very good cinder i was not prepared for that yeah i like to keep people on their toes <laughs> What are you doing now? I mean, besides keeping me on my toes. Learning. Have you ever went riding? Like on a horse? Yes, on a horse. I don't think I have. I've always been interested. I mean, I have Shadow out back. Shadow and I are good friends. I so I could... Him. Yeah, so one of my abilities is I can speak with animals. Uh, that makes more sense. Um, so I've actually spoken to Shadow a couple of times. He's a very insightful horse. You should be proud. Yes, he keeps my head on my shoulders. Yes. I was actually kind of wanting a horse for myself paladins can summon horses steeds and other things can they yes interesting so now i must definitely become a paladin specific that's a bad joke that's a bad joke i just I, my bad Shadow is outside. Um, so, like, right right now? Yes, there's a type of combat that you do while on a horse. Okay. So, is that something you want to show me now? I mean, if you're uh, still wanting to learn more about paladins, yes. Willing and able. Okay. So, 
Sir Derek proceeds to lead you up the stairs again, and y'all walk out the back side of the temple, and you see a uh, shadow like nibbling on some grass. Did he use up all the spell slots? All right, I look over at Derek. So is it okay if I speak with him? I mean, from the sound of it, you spoke with him before, so. Well, I figured now it's important to get permission now that I know who his owner was, because I didn't know he had an owner. I think Shadow would enjoy the chat. Okay. All right. And I cast Speak with Animals. And I just slowly walk up to Shadow. <laughs> just kind of all tentative. Uh, Shadow, it's me, Sindare, Sin. If you remember, it's been like a day, but it's been a day or two, you know. Uh, he like stops nibbling on the grass and like, <laughs> I remember you, Sin. Yeah, um, how have you been? I have been all right. How about yourself? Things have been a little touch and go. Um, but I think a recent moment of clarity is helping me figure out what I need to do. I've tried being the light to those around me, the sunny day instead of a rainy day. And I think in that process, I became a rainy day. Um, so there's some things I need to work on and unlearn and grow out of. But do you yeah. want to grow out of those things? At first, I didn't. But now I've realized that those things are part of myself I don't quite enjoy. So I would much rather grow out of it. And prove that I can live my life without being that way. Who will you prove it to? Myself, I think, more than anyone. This is good. Yourself is very important. Yes. You didn't tell me that Sir Derek was your master. Yes. He has summoned me a long time ago. Okay. So he's a good master for you? Oh, yes. I do much like this grass. He's a... He's like... Fresh grass, or? Yeah, it's pretty fresh. Are you asking Shadow, or are you looking at I'm asking grass? Shadow. Oh. It is. That's good. Um, I think Sir Derek may give me a chance to take a stroll on your back. Or you would like to ride. Yeah. Is that okay with you? Am I a person that you would trust enough to ride you? Yes, Sindare, not human, elf. I trust you. Okay. Well, if anything goes wrong or you feel weird, just let me know. And we can stop whatever we're doing. From running? Yes, just in case, like, you pull a muscle. I will let you know. Okay, thanks. All right, Derek, I think, I think we're good to go. Right. Um, so you might find it easier to uh, wield your spear on horseback. 
Um, you say you haven't ridden a horse before, though, right? Yeah, yeah. New experience. Uh, Shadow's pretty well uh, taught. You just need to lead him in the direction that you want to go, and he'll kind of take care of the rest. Uh, but I want... And he kind of like points at these targets that are around, uh, kind of posted. I want you to try and see if you can hit those while on horseback. Try try to hit the, those. Yes, if you miss them, it's fine. Just come back. Okay. Okay. I can, I can certainly try. Yes, that's the spirit. Okay. And I try to get on Shadow. You get on Shadow. Ah. <laughs> it's so high up. Nobody ever talks about how high up you are. Yeah, you feel like a freaking giant. I can see why... Not you, but, like, certainly other paladins could, like, formulate an ego with being on such a high horse all the time. Just the targets, Sin. Right. <laughs> Sorry. All right. All right, Shadow. Don't throw me off if you can help it. Understood. And he takes off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perception check. Uh, 18. Nice. Uh, as you're running to your first target, you're like getting ready got your spear you're holding on to the reins and then smudgy appears in front of you dawson ah! <laughs> <laughs> dawson there this isn't what i was expecting i'm sorry why did you go in front of me i was trying to find you to tell you about flint what wait what <laughs> uh, what what's wrong with flint oh she's not feeling too well like, does she need help? No, I think her tummy hurts. Okay, I thought... I'm sorry. I thought this was... Could you float down, kind of like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest like, on the horse in front on. of me? <laughs> and the first target... <laughs> missed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to start multitasking. <laughs> but, okay, so Flint doesn't feel well? Like, keeping an eye out for the next target? Yeah, it's about 20 feet away. No, she said uh, her tummy hurts. And she sent you to come get me because her tummy hurts? Well, she sent me to go get someone, and I didn't know who to go find, so I found you. Okay. All right. Where's the next target? <laughs> uh, Roll to attack. <laughs> Eight. And you miss it. <laughs> Darn it. All right. Well, let me finish this up and I'll I'll go check on her, okay? Do, are you just gonna stick with me or like looking for the next target? Are you just like uh, are you are you just sticking with me? What are you doing? I'm training. Training to miss things? What do you mean training? Okay, okay, I'm training to hit things. This is my first time on a horse, thank you very much. Oh, do you need help? There's no, one right I there. I think I got... But what? Bring it! With advantage. <laughs> okay. Well, thank God for advantage. 20, 24, 25 to hit. Okay, you finally take out that target. All right, that was good. Let's keep doing that. And I, like, bring them back around to hit the other two targets. Okay. Keep so, like, so, so you just, with, you're just, you can just, you can just pop yourself around like that? I mean, I was invisible. I didn't want people seeing oh, me flying around. okay. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. There's I one right there. Just... Swing! Ah! <laughs> Do I have advantage? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Anything's better than a one. You also have Lux, I feel. So you have some Lux. Uh, I'm going to use an inspo. <laughs> okay. 
16 to hit. Yes, it hits. And you take that one out. Okay. All right. So, so Flint sent you to go get somebody for help. Yeah, which I thought about you. And right. here we are. Right. So now we need to get back to Flint. Yes, as soon as you swing. Ah! <laughs> At advantage? Yep. First roll was better. Uh, 23 to hit. Yep. You take that one out as well. And Shadow comes to a clean, slow down halt. All right. You good, Shadow? Yes. Why? All right. I'll hop off, okay? All right. And I hop off. But I, like, don't land right, so I roll my ankle and slam into the ground. <laughs> oh, gosh. Roll a performance check. <laughs> just, to not look, just to play it off, right? <laughs> just be like, oh, I meant to do Ooh. that. Dirty 20. At disadvantage. <laughs> oh, darn it. All right, that's more accurate. That's a 12. Okay. So you like get off, you think you're good, and then like your ankle goes, eek, and then you like tipple over. And uh, Ow. <laughs> Sir Derek comes over. Um, are, are you all right, Sin? There? Yep. Yes. Yes. Sorry. I, I, I have to go. One of my friends needs my help, so I have to go help her. Is that okay? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. I will. Get that information about the paladins to the tavern? Is that fine? Yes, that works. Okay. Thank you. So thank you so much. And I go to pat him on the shoulder and I'm like, no, don't, don't touch him. <laughs> <laughs> and then, all right. I will see you maybe tomorrow. Oh, you want to train more? Yeah. Sure. Yes, yeah, same time. Okay, same time. You got it. All right. Thank you for everything you taught me today. I appreciate it. Also, does he see Smudgy? Uh, roll a insight check. Twenty four. Nice. Um, Smudgy's like tucked behind you a little bit. But he's trying to play like, like, if I don't move, he doesn't see me. Um, right. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh, tomorrow. I'll see you. Yes, to, tomorrow. Could you get back there? Could, tomorrow. Tom are, are you all right? T yeah, just an itch on my back. You sure you didn't hurt yourself getting off shadow? Uh, if I did, I can, you know, I can. It's if I did, you know. It, it'll be fine. I'll, I'll be in tip-top shape tomorrow. Right, right. Yep. All right. All right. See ya. Okay, okay bye. I run away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Brolin, what have you been up to? Um. I. So this has been a morning is like, is that the length of time that this is like a good solid, like up till lunchtime? Mm -hmm. um, Brolin will have been working on his shield. Um, he started to basically, he's like tempered glass, made it stronger. So there's now actually glass, there's a glass frame in the front of the shield. And there seems to be some kind of inner chamber he's constructing. And He's he's been trying to like configure the spark into that central chamber. Um, I would say throughout that time he would have taken a short rest and he would have tried one number on the little identify thing. Okay, uh, roll another yeah. d twenty. Eleven. Okay. Where's my notes? Notes. 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 <laughs> Perf, you know. Put some more brain juice on it, but he's no, he's he's not giving into 
tiredness or, or anything. He's he's putting a lot of focus into this work. Okay. Um, as you're doing that, roll a. investigation check surely i am pretty good at that uh my last inspo <laughs> you can't say you're pretty good until you i know i i really i know i know no i'm just never gonna say it again, really uh i'm bad at everything six, until i'm good 16 Nice. as high as I could get that one. Okay. Um, you hear a voice behind you. You're still in the shed, right? Mm -hmm. By yourself? Mm -hmm. Did you, like, close the door? Yeah. Yeah. So, without hearing the door open, you hear a voice behind you turn i'm gonna need you to do me a favor what is it? wait and looking at you is a young woman uh her hair is blonde she has it pulled back she looks familiar but you can't place it Uh, I, I kind, I kind of have a lot on my plate right now. Uh, do, did someone refer you to me? No. You lot have been kind of like a thorn in our sides as of late, and I'm going to need your help to not be. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, lay it out there. What uh, what can we do to not be a thorn in your side? You all got an item from a certain someone that does certain some things. Hmm, I see. And he, um... He um, says, well, let me go get it for you. And he's going to grab his gauntlet that has all the magnetic connectors to his armor. The shield is definitely not usable, but the rest of his armor is. And he's going to reach for his axe as he activates the room on his bracelet to pull all of his armor onto himself. Okay. No, no. You don't have to go through all that. I don't want the item. But something tells me you don't even know what it does. And you do? Yes, I do. And if you help me, I'll let you know what it does. That is a trade that I feel we might be able to make work. <laughs> uh, and she looks at you. You don't recognize me, do you? No, I don't think I do. It's fine. These bodies never are what they seem to be. Let me refresh your memory. The manor. You all attacked me a bunch of times. I really lost track. This is the one that we like. He like healed and. Mm. Oh. I'm trying to think of how that resolved. 
Uh, uh, she God. came back to life. <laughs> her essence escaped out of the body, and then that we girl killed her. Was dead. She I killed mean, herself. Yes. Well, I mean, but we we helped. Yes. <laughs> um. Do you, is it my help specifically, or are you wanting all of our helps? All no, no, our... just yours. You seem to have the brain for it. Well, now that you've refreshed my memory, I no longer think this is a decision I can make on my own. Uh, You're thinking too rash. I just need your help with one thing. I am willing to offer further help in... Whatever it is you're working on, really. And to be fair, had you all not been at the manor when you were, we would have never had an actual confrontation. Sure. Um, will I have the chance to, like, do I get to hear what it is you need my help with and then decide, or just... Is this like a commit first kind of thing? Mm, I want to know at least how much you're in it. If you are able to help me understand what this thing does, and as long as I'm not out to hurt innocent people or do do wrong, I, I, I'm willing to at least listen and Yeah, I'll listen to, to what you have to say. Very well. Um, I need you to design something for me. And in return, I will help you. Um, she like looks over that and she like points at your notebook. What, what's that you're working on? Well, that is a, a very uh, ancient something. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I've been studying it for years and years. Yeah, I'm able to draw some magics out of it. But I feel like there's more. Well, there is, but... If you don't understand it, then you probably never actually get anywhere with it. So, I will help with that and whatever else it is you're in this viney storage for. But, the moment you try and betray me, I'm just going to leave. Sure. Uh, are you acting, just, just, you don't have to tell me who, but are, are you acting on your own or are you working with others I mean there is another but he's recovering currently thanks to your friends um, but we have actions similar to two of your friends except not quite the same objective Okay. I mean, I, I think it's worth seeing if we can help each other out. What do you need built? Uh, and she slowly walks over and uh, in her hand, you see this darkness like pool and kind of like manifest into a swarm of corruption just like levitating a bit in front of her i need you to design an item that can contain corruption it 
is in once I get you this item, you is it then you'll help me? Well, it's going to be a process. I'll help you build whatever it is that you're building in conjunction with also designing this other item. Uh, I am going to attempt to get a feel of her vibe with, you know, like, I'm not very insightful, but I'm going to try to get a read on her. Okay, uh, you could do an insight check with advantage, because I imagine your spidey sense would be on heels right now. <laughs> Man, I don't know what it is, mate. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's a 13. Even at advantage? Yep. The first was a three. Nice. I feel that. Mm -hmm. How much was it? 13. Okay. Um, normally, when you, like, badly insight check people, um, you can sense, like, like, foul deeds or something like that, just, like, menacing. With her, there's, like, a, a sense of desperation. Uh, and I only say this because I do not have much time. How much time? A few days, at best. Wow, well, man, this really a <laughs> my workload. I keep getting something done and then something else added on, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I will. I'll help you out. I'll let you know if you come by here. I'll give you an update. Give me uh, give me the rest of the day at least. Maybe day and night. So return tomorrow in the morning? Tomorrow morning, yeah. And you watch as her body turns into shadow and kind of like sinks down and creeps into one of the wall shadows and she vanishes. I immediately go check the compartment with the vial in it. It's still there. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I'm gonna use Angel. I'm gonna say yeah, I, I don't know how, guys, but we need to figure out how to uh, keep a lower profile. I feel like we have eyes on us. What do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? Uh, when, when you when you get back here, I'll, I'll fill you in. All right, I got to go check on Flint first, but I'll be over. Okay. And uh, he gets out another piece of paper and starts sketching. And as you do that, Berlin, that's where we're going to end it. <sighs> <laughs> Exclamation critical to win some dice. Um, things just got even more serious. I don't even know what stakes are anymore. All the stakes are just... Everyone's got stakes. You got stakes, I got stakes. Mm, that's what I'd name my horse, I think. Stakes. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. Very loving name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Tebow. <laughs> That's crazy. Just when you thought the decisions were all going to be on Cinder's plate, <laughs> or or Ness, like I feel like we're just like it was the Ness show for a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now there's a lot. Remember there's a in lot. hindsight when Brolin was like, "I think we got the easier side of things," and that was just like, oh, "It's so good." Ooh. 
uh <laughs> flint bro lint daddy b done did some things <laughs> i didn't screw up this time it wasn't me <gasps> oh how quick we don't know yet guys changed. we've had i don't know I don't the know. fact I that you like, made that decision like, blows hey, my mind i mean y'all made the decision to not tell miss wait, 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 and brolin wait. about what happened in the future that's true that's true i have no idea it. about that <laughs> We just what? We just out here making decisions on our own because they Look, sound I don't really think it's good. Fair. I don't think that's fair to say I make rash decisions when like Ness started hitting on a guy she was literally fighting swords <laughs> with. We need to have a poll of who's made the worst decision so I, far. It has to be me. It has but it's to be not. Me. It's not a landslide though. It's, it's really not, not it's a really landslide. Close. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so the winner is. Da, 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 da. Burr, 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 burr. Finner fin person. Finner Pearson. Finner Pearson. If I said it wrong, I am sorry. You have won some dice. Uh, be sure to join our Discord, uh, which is that guy. And hit me up, Judgy DM. Uh, also known as Stacks, and let me know that you won so that I can make sure that we can send dice out to you. And in case you all don't know, we'll be back here next Saturday. Uh, we will continue Fate of Ugador until the end of the month. I think only one week. In... Yeah, we're missing one week. Yeah, one mm. week this uh well, out of these Saturdays, we're not going to be here. I think it's the 23rd or something. Mm -hmm. but don't That's quote it. me. That's um, it. But other than that, we'll be here for the others. And then we'll be moving to Dungeon Mechanics. So uh, if you haven't, go follow them. It's fine. We'll just continue more chaos over there as well. It's all just a big... That's what the whole thing is. It's just a big ball of chaos. It's a and big, big old <laughs> ball of chaos. Multi-pronged With like an inner... Chaos ball. Like a canoodled layer of corruption. A core. A corruption core. If you corruption will. core. Oh my gosh. So, Yes. Uh, we are going to get ready to raid, so if you all have uh, Fable 42 raid emotes, be sure to hit them up when we arrive in their chatter box. Uh, but, yeah, we will see you all the next time, and thank you for watching. Okay, bye-bye. Mm. Bye-bye.